Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review tonight. We are checking out the first in the series of beers that I received from my buddy Dan in uh, my latest beer mail package. Uh, it is Day Pack Pale Ale by Bent Paddle Brewing. They are out of Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, this is a 4.6% single pale ale, they call it. Uh, the IBUs are 48, so it's not going to be a crazy bitter beer, um, but it's brewed with a ton of different hops. There's Galaxy hops, uh, Simcoe hops, Citra hops. There's a couple other hops. I think there's like six or seven different hops that they uh, brewed with this beer. So I'm expecting this to be like a really awesome citrusy, fruity, um, really aromatic kind of sessionable pale ale. And it's another canned beer. I've made my case about how much I love canned beers. Um, I think they're fantastic. I love them. I love that people are moving to cans as far as uh, the craft beer world goes. I think the beer is great out of a can. It doesn't bother me one bit. So <clears throat> I am definitely a fan of craft beer. Um, but yeah, uh, this should be, like I said, just a really nice, light, little sessionable pale ale. Um, and when people are, when I say sessionable, people have sent me messages before saying, hey, you know, when you say you said sessionable, when it comes to beer, what does that mean? Basically, sessionable is um, a beer that you can sit down with in, you know, a, a one hour or two hour session and have, you know, a couple of two or three of them and not get hammered. It'll be all right to, you know, you want to go out to dinner and have a couple beers, you can session them, you're fine to drive home. Um, they're not going to knock you on your ass or get you in trouble. So that's what sessionable means. I mean, obviously I don't advocate drinking and driving, but sessionable is basically, you know, in that anywhere from probably four to five and a half percent range. Um, I mean, depending on, I guess, your alcohol tolerance, you should be fine to drive. So uh, yeah, Bent Paddle is out of Duluth. I don't know much about the brewery. I don't know if it's kind of a smaller up and coming brewery. I'm not sure how long they've been around, but uh, he said the guy that he um, frequents the liquor store, the gentleman who worked there, recommended this. So uh, we're going to check it out and see uh, see what we think. So I'm actually really, look, really, really, really looking forward to it. I said we're going to uh, pour this into our San Diego Pale Ale glass. I love this glass. It's so sick. Being a baseball fan, that Tony Gwynn logo that they used for that at A.O. Smith is so great. I'm not going to pour this too crazy just because it's a low ABV beer. I don't want to get a huge monster head on it. And we did. So that actually pours a, uh, an, again, like yesterday, we reviewed the uh, the Born Yesterday Pale Ale from Lagunitas. I can smell that already. Uh, it's a deep, kind of a golden amber color. It looks more like an IPA than it does a Pale Ale, in my opinion. Uh, carbonation's good. It's not crazy carbonated like the beer we had uh, last night. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but um, probably, I don't know, half a finger of kind of an off-white head. Tight bubbles all the way through. Even the top are really, really, really just tight, tiny bubbles. Um, but it looks great in the glass. Like I said, I could smell it right when I opened it. Big, big citrus notes. Um, I don't get much else uh, on the nose besides citrus. A uh, little bit of fruity, uh, maybe some um, like stone fruits, like uh, I don't know if it's like, it's like a sweet, like apricot maybe. Um, lots of orange, very orange smelling, um, but not like that bitter orange, more juicy citrus orange smelling. I mean, like I said, it's only 40 I've used. I, it's, this is not going to be a bitter beer at all. Um, I think this is going to be like a really refreshing beer. It's got a great nose. Um, not as pungent as the, as the pale ale that we did uh, last night. Not as bright smelling, but definitely citrusy. Um, and there's something sweet in there. I don't know if it's the malt that they're using, kind of that sweet malty, maybe like some, uh, like that kind of biscuity breadiness. But it's, it smells great, so I'm going to dig in. Uh, Dan, thank you, sir. Cheers. That's good. Um, solid. Big, uh, Big orange, grapefruit, tangerine, uh, citrus, tiny, tiny bit of bitterness. Like I said, 48 IVs, it's not crazy bitter. Uh, finish is really dry. 
Uh, it's got a light mouthfeel. I mean, this is a one of those beers. It's just it's it's refreshing. I wish it was like a hot day today. <laughs> this would be a lot better. I mean, not that it's not delicious. It's it's really really good. Um, but this is a beer that I would love to take uh, like down to the beach and just hang out, you know, on a warm day at the beach by the water and just I mean, like I said, you can session these. It's not. It's a really really light. Uh, just a, I mean, it's the only way I can really describe it. It's very, very refreshing. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I like that kind of bright, citrusy, fruity uh, flavor up front. You get that bitterness, uh, middle of the mouth goes right away, finishes dry. Nice and clean. That's a tasty, tasty beer. I like that. I mean, for me, I'd say it's a solid B+. Plus. Um, I mean, there's a couple other beers I would probably choose before this one, but it's really, really good. I'd like, I mean, I think they said they brewed this like July through October. And now that we're in the middle of November, um, and this might just, it might be a lot better when it comes out right in July. Um, especially with a lower ABV like that, depending on when, it doesn't have a date on it, depending on when it was canned. I don't know if it kind of lost a little bit, but, um, excellent drinking beer. Really, really good. I like that a lot. So, I mean, if I was in Minnesota, I mean, I've never seen this beer before, so I don't know what the distribution's like, but summertime, this would be a beer I'd be drinking all the time. So, really, really good. I like that a lot. So, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. Dan, thank you, sir, for this one. Really, really appreciate it. And as always, you guys, thanks for liking these videos. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for watching. So, until next time, I will see you guys later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.